Justin Allen, straight out of Arizona. What's up, YouTube? Big Rick with Arizona Arm Fighters. We got us a new slag going. Hey, hey. Tell me what you think. If you'd like to support Arizona Arm Fighters and you'd like to support, uh, get some sort of airs, think it's a good idea for us to make some Arizona Arm Fighters swag, leave a comment below. So, we're going to start a little series on DIY arm wrestling handles. The great thing about arm wrestling is that you can do it anywhere, it's easy, it's cheap to afford, you don't need money to do it. There's a lot of handles out there that work, they're great, but they can get spendy. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on a budget. All right, and here we are, Home Depot, America's favorite hardware store. I'm sure all of you got a Home Depot somewhere near you. Let's go see what you need. Oh yeah. So here we are in the luggage section. On the store's website, you can order a roll of this nylon strap like this. It's like a 40 foot or something for uh, 15 or 20 bucks. If you're gonna follow the series, I suggest you do that because you'll use it all. But for today's demonstration, we're gonna use this eight foot, one inch luggage strap, $5 at Home Depot. Here we are, we're gonna use these rings right here. It's enough to make two handles, $1.55. Yes. And here we are. If you want, you could buy a whole stick of pipe because you'll use it for some of the projects we're doing. But for today's demonstration, we're grabbing this little two foot stick. It's enough to make two handles, and here we go. Okay, got our show up to practice, but I can Car load up. <laughs> Put french <laughs> fries on the burger. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> That's like California burrito burger. Yeah, for real. <laughs> All right, so here we are, YouTube. We're back in the shop. We have our straps. We have a pipe. We have a saw. We have a sandpaper. We have some drill bits. Let's see what kind of magic we can make. Hey, can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh, I was drinking, but you don't like how Our hole is about an inch and a half up. Use the pilot bit. Now I'm using about a three eighths bit. Next, we're going to take the end of our strap. We're going to feed it through here like this. Tuck that in there like that. And voila, there's our multi spinner. Now we got to make an attachment point though. Right. This D ring. I'm going to put it in here, and we're going to do a hangman style noose. Hangman style noose? Yep. So you just fold it like this up here. Wrap from the top here. Wrap it a few times. Push it back up through. Easy enough? Yep. And you can play with that knot and make this... What is that for? Fit perfect. This is where you're going to attach to your pulley system, your carabiner. <laughs> that knot is just for more uh, support? Yep. No, this is where you're going to attach to the system. This is where you attach to your pulley. I understand, but this part? Underneath? This is to hold the ring on. Oh, okay. I get it. Alright, now we're going to 
give this thing a little bit of texture. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just taking some. This is about 80 grit sandpaper. I'm sanding this thing down. Easy enough. We made two handles for about 10 bucks. 